Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. In today's video, we're going to cover a new event type that we've recently added to the Prototrack RMX, and it's called helical drilling. Although we've had helical milling in the controls over the past, and of course we have helical entry now as one of the options in our new pocketing routines, we've also added it to a drilling routine, which allows you to do a couple of things. First of all, it allows me to take an end mill and bore a circle and finish the bottom of it all at the same time. And the only real requirement is that the diameter of your end mill is at least larger than the radius of the hole you're trying to end up with. So what you're going to see here if I go to the program mode, I'm just going to swipe forward to get to the beginning and I'm going to select drill. And when I go to drill you'll see that there's four options at the top whereas before we used to have three. And so the last one is helix, so I'm going to hit the drop down menu and go to helical. And then I'm just going to use zero, zero as the center of my hole, okay. Um, my Z rapid there, I'm just going to keep it with the uh, 100 thousandths, it's fine. But I'm going to go a quarter of an inch deep. By not going too deep, the camera will be able to pick it up better and you'll have a better idea how it works. Now the pitch of the thread is basically telling it how many uh, revolutions you want to have. You can think of it that way. How how much of a bite do I want to take as it goes around each time, okay? So let's just set it at a uh, 50,000 so you see it make a few revolutions. And then the diameter of my hole, notice it says diameter, not radius. So I'm just going to say I want to do a one inch hole and then I want to do it with an RPM of 2500 and I want to do it at 10 inches a minute with tool number one, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is go to my tool table and I'm just going to take one of my tools out of my list here. I'm going to use this finish end mill right here. Say that's tool number one. That loads it into my program. If I switch over to the setup mode and look at the tool path, you'll see in 3D mode that it's actually going to cut a helix. But the nice part about it is when it gets to the final destination, it's going to make a full revolution plus another 10 degrees or so just to make sure that the entire bottom is completed and flat. Then it will move to the center, come out of the hole, and be completed. Okay, so now that we see everything else is right, normally I'd go in and find my zeros, but I've already done that in advance. So what we're going to do next is actually let you watch it work. Okay, now I can also give you the idea of seeing it actually happen by going to um, my, uh, sorry, to my verify. So let's make this part a little bit bigger, right? So it's actually this size. Uh, my Z bottom's an inch, and my Z maximums are an inch and a half, and Z zero. So you can actually see when I go to make part and hit verify part, it happens pretty quickly. And if I slow it down and let you see it one more time, that it's actually doing a helix as it comes in and bores out the hole. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is to make the part. And so I'll show you how to run the part here and I got it already set up so in a minute here we'll just push the go button and you can watch it all happen. Okay so what we're going to do here is we're in the run mode and I'm going to push start and as always I'm going to use tracking just to make sure I'm in the right place so it's telling me when I'm ready to push go right so I'm going to push go first. It's going to make sure that it's in home position tell me to turn on the spindle. I'm going to select tracking and then I'm going to dial it in to get it in the right position. So it looks good where I'm at here. I'm 100 thousandths above. It's going to start the helix. So I'm just going to go to stop, CNC run, and then push go. As it feeds in, you're going to notice the helix right as it starts cutting. And then it's going to work its way all the way to the quarter inch dimension at the bottom. So we're almost to the top of the part. As you can see, you get a really nice, easy cut. It cuts it like butter because it's moving all three axes at the time, at the same time, so nothing's going to load up. Now I'm at the final dimension, so it's going to make the full 360 plus a little bit more to clear the floor. Move to the center. 
come out and there you have it. So as you can see, this new feature is really handy for when you don't have uh, the right size drill bit to make a certain size hole, especially on bigger holes. Or maybe you just want to speed up the process because if I did this as an actual profile or a pocket, then I'm going to plunge down, move around, plunge down, move around, or zigzag in and out, whatever. This way is faster. It keeps the chip load the same all the way throughout and just moves in all three axes at the same time. But when it gets to the bottom, it's going to finish the bottom. So hopefully you'll find that this is a really neat uh, event that you're going to be able to use in the times coming forward. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, remember to keep on tracking. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and today I'm here with the West Coast crew, along with Chuck Farmer from Intech Funding. He's the guy who's going to help you get that beautiful new pro to track right on your floor. So don't forget, next time you're buying, talk to Chuck. In the meantime, if you're enjoying these videos and you want to see the next one, just push this button over here. If you want to subscribe, push the button over here. And most importantly, before we see you in the next video, remember to keep on tracking.